Hello YouTube, just thought I would uh, do a little quick video about my three new knives. I haven't tested them yet, just opened the box to wash them, and yeah. They are from Rian Bloom of Steel of Bloom Knives from Sweden. I just got them, I'm gonna thread some knives for them. The signature Bloom there. It's start, but this is etched 15 and 20. It's a bandsaw steel, so this is an etched knife. It's pretty thin, it weighs nothing, it's incredible light. This is a bunka design. A little all purpose knives, purpose knife again with the signature. Again, pretty thin as you see. I'm just gonna put the knives I'm not gonna use back. And a uh, Sujihiki. All knives in 15 and 20. Also pretty thin. I see some problems. Here at the tip, if you can see it looks like it's been hammered wrong or something. Or been a little bent or something, but we're all older than that, I'm yeah, pretty happy. The fit and finish is pretty good. The weight, very good, they weigh nothing. The balance point right at the pinch grip, so. They come, I didn't, don't know if that was the tape that was on them, but they needed a good stropping. So I have stropped them now, and yeah, they're about 7 out of 10 on sharpness. They can't whittle bear, but they can cut food. So. Just gonna try them on some chicken, cleaning that, some potatoes and onion. I'm gonna try the bunka. The tip goes into plastic very easily. As you see, this is the time it. It needs a good bit of yeah, I'm just gonna it cuts very good. It yeah it don't get me wrong, it feels sturdy but it feels like a toy in my hand. It's so damn light. I wish I had a good scale but I don't but I imagine it can't weigh anything more than maybe tops 100 grams. It's so light. It would be a chef's dream to work with. It's got no problem cutting up chicken, that's for sure. Just gonna fry this in the frying pan and with the potatoes and then I have a quick meal. It feels great to work with because it's so damn light. This is the first time I actually held just the handle and yeah, it feels good. But yeah, the 
the sharpness out of the box as I said I mistake it's the tape because he shipped them from Sweden over to Norway and taped the edge so they won't cut the box etc so I mistake that's the problem so I'm guessing after a um, round on the stones this will perform very well they're very thin and yeah seem very very good the knife and get a new cutting board and glove so I don't get more chicken all over my potatoes when I boil them Just use a uh, soft sponge. Just gonna put some dish soap on it. So there. off really quick there I'm just wiping my hands because they of course smell like rubber Those hurt. So as I said, just at the pinch grip. Oh, this is, but yeah, I feel this is very good. Damn, that's mood. That rivals my Shibata Kotetsu. I'm gonna try. Yeah, it sticks, but damn, that cuts good. So it got a little stiction problem, but I think it was out. I'm just gonna see if it patina, so I'm gonna ladder it in with some potato. Cuts excellent. Much better than I would have guessed. And he said that this isn't even as thin as he could go. This doesn't have the metallic um, smell that white steel would. It's basically 1075 with a little bit, or not a little bit, actually a good bit of nickel. So it's a very tough steel. It's incredible light. I can't get over that. It feels like I'm holding a very little petty knife or something. 
think I got a new favorite knife here. Excited to see how the edge retention is after a while because there's basically nothing to add with that. No chromium, no vanadium, libdenum, tungsten, niobium, nitrogen, nothing. There's just carbon and basically nickel in this steel. It feels great, that's for sure. There. Just, yeah, I can use just a napkin, so. See if it still is sharp. The tip is excellent to do into onion with. I'm just gonna peel it. There, offing it. That feels very good. I can see some of it starting to get brown. That's the oxidation. So I'm just gonna form a patina. Doing this. Incredible light to do. As you see, paper thin slices. And no problem getting them off the blade. There, I'm gonna wash it. Yes, both. The patina and onion top so it comes rust and standing still. And the soil seems nice and all good and good so. Just wiping my hands.
think that's it finish is gonna be a smoother after some use it seems to be like that there that looks clean uh, paper paper there I know this is a huge task, but uh, I know at least it can stand up to oh, okay. I think I'm gonna try to sharpen them tomorrow to see how large will be. Uh, Just taking them on. Uh, I can show you all the knives too that are sharp. I'm just gonna take them on a uh, thousand and uh, three thousand, five thousand. We are gonna put the paper here. This cute little knife after I dropped it. Sushihiki Very deep So yeah, it works. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and press like. Bye.